Hey, it's a dark episode for August the 2nd, 2022. Um, I was just watching Turn On, a very quickly cancelled American uh, com sketch comedy show, uh, which was very quickly cancelled. Apparently cancelled within its first commercial break. <laughs> It was um, basically the network's thing, like, we want one of those laugh-ins. So they came up with this kind of, this concept, which is definitely pushing the edge, uh, definitely kind of odd and alienating and almost anti-humor-ish in a way. I found this through um, the Cancelled Too Soon guys, uh, critically came, claimed uh, Bibbs and Whitney. Bib, Bibiani and uh, Whitney Seibold, uh, William Bibiani and Whitney Seibold, uh, who often just come up with really interesting de detritus, uh, which this definitely is that. I have watched up to the first commercial break, and it is strange. And I will probably continue watching the, I think, just two episodes that they made of it, because they, yeah, they canceled during the first one, but they never aired the second one, so, woohoo! Um, yes, I am, what is today? Well, today was, it was, I, you know, there's always stuff to get done, I got that stuff done, and I got to work, and I did my little projects at home, I finished, ah, here's my little subject, subject. I finished, my MT story, Mommy Tits story, uh, on uh, DA, um, which was me doing a doodle and then writing a story, a series of vignettes that all connect together into one story of the adventures of this young gold digger who marries a older, a small, penis, um, rich man. Uh, who unfortunately has a manic super id son who makes uh, the title character, who he names Mommy Tits, life miserable. And things just go downhill from there and do not end well. Well, not really for anybody, but especially probably for Mommy Tits, uh, who at the end is quite a changed character. And yeah... Yeah, I, I, I think I just did, I, I, I think I just wrote that for the amusement of myself. I don't know if any anyone was particularly paying attention to it by the end. I guess I'll find out um, as I, as I check in on my, as I check in on my um, the comments there. But, you know, this is, this is, I'm, you know, this is like, um, actually, this is a more stark example, I would say than um, my booktube channel because um, I'm, you know, I'm not a, I'm not an artist. I'm not a, in any way an artist. So my level of artistness um, is definitely gotten me 30 people uh, on, a, on a thing which, you know, people have like thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of uh, people watching them and it's kind of like youtube in the sense of that doesn't really mean anything but you know just the number of eyeballs that would actually kind of flicker over anything i'd made um this is actually a good good just kind of like oh okay that's starkly i am i am a uh kindergartner with crayons in comparison to the other people on this on this channel uh, a dirty minded kindergartner <laughs> um with uh, crayons and you know that's fine i am enjoying myself and obviously i'm just doing stuff to please myself which is what i will do um but yeah yeah i'm just gonna mark that as because i did like i think 17 doodles and each one i wrote uh, a hunk of the story each day so kind of an exercise in serial storytelling serial um erotic pornographic storytelling and i'm fine it was like okay that was fun um i might collate it together and edit it up into one big thing we'll see we'll see or i'll, I'll just let it die and wither there yeah 
All right. I will leave it there. Yeah, I'm not going to get down on myself. I had fun. I enjoyed it. I did get some positive comments on it. Um, yeah. All right. More videos later.